Hello, welcome to the final part. This is quite a snappy one because I now want you to get into your body. Recently, I made a video about whether you're an observer or whether you're a participant in your life. And I often liken the observer bit and that they're both really valuable about being in your head. And then being a participant allows you to be in your body, being in motion, being in action. I feel like I'm one of those... Um, 80s, 90s fitness, march on the spot, um, fitness people. Um, right, today I want to talk first and foremost, part nine, about a really great book that I'm reading. It's sort of the same message throughout, but there are loads of examples. And I love a theory, a philosophy, a mantra that you can take and you can literally put it with so many different circumstances, scenarios, examples, like having something in your wardrobe when you're like, I know that I can, it will go with this and it will do that. Fantastic. Um, it's called The Gap and the Gain and I am going to be sharing it on my book favourites, which I will share on Instagram. I'm also going to be uploading them to my website, so check out those too. Um, it's a really juicy book and you can have a read about it and research about it. But one of the things that he talks about is an example of the British rowing team when they came up with this very snappy phrase of what will make the boat go faster and really had that as their benchmark of, are we gonna do this or are we not gonna do this? Will it make the boat go faster? And I think sometimes just having that snappy situation, so whatever it might be, for you, will it get me there quicker? Will it, and, and choose something really juicy. The boat going faster is the right thing for the rowing team. But maybe it's like, will this take me to New York? Will this get me my kitchen renovation? <laughs> will this allow me to try on my old jeans that I absolutely love? Will this give me more time with my children? Whatever it might be. Choose something juicy, depending on your goal, that's going to be snappy. And so it can be like, is it a yes or a no? Is it left or is it right? Is it something that I need to move on or hold back on? And this has been really interesting for me because it's really sort of helps me to assess how I'm using my time and how I'm using my resources. And I am definitely a people pleaser. And many times I've sort of thought, oh gosh, I must... Um, that feels like that's the right thing for them. So I'll do that. And over the years, I've really had to focus on what it is that I want. And, you know, one example I can give you of this is when we moved into this house, I had to cancel lots and lots of different things. And that meant I didn't really celebrate my 40th a lot. I had a, you know, a nice meal with Matt, but I feel like there's more celebrating to do and for me to delve a little bit deeper in that way. And it can be one of those moments where you just sometimes have to um, focus or pull back or um, make some difficult decisions. And so I want you to bring this phrase, whatever it is, along with you in your in your back pocket, almost like it's a heart meter going on in the background. It's, it's a way of checking where you're up to and seeing what's going on. And just bring it to the surface. If you're ever in that dilemma of like, I don't know if this is the right thing, or if you find yourself doing busy work, that's another thing that comes up all the time. Like, I'm really busy, but I'm not getting the result that I want. Well, maybe I'm focusing on the stuff that's not going to make the boat go faster. Point number 10 is about aligned action aligned action and really taking this into your body and there are lots of different ways that you can do this is uh, the first i would say is about noticing what you are actually doing and really paying attention to it and really bringing yourself back to the present moment so meditators often say this of if your mind wanders around bring yourself back to the breath and I always do this if I meditate that I'm like, oh, the breath, right, okay, I'm in the breath, okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. And I have to do that in my day sometimes because otherwise, if I don't, I can get stuck scrolling or doing something or watching some nonsense on 
Instagram or the telly that I don't need to do. Or sometimes I'm moving the same thing around my house again and again or tidying up the same thing. I'm like, why? This is not working for me. I need to come up with some more aligned action. The thing about aligned action also is that you start to notice the incremental shifts that you are taking. And sometimes when people say aligned action, they imply that you have to go into fifth gear immediately. And so I invite you every step of the way to break these things down. So an aligned action for me might be working on a habit that is going, if I do it consistently, it's going to, to go back to point nine, it's going to make the boat go faster. And that pressure of saying, right, I've got to do that habit for the rest of my life. Gosh, that habit is so big. It's so hard. It feels like it's really um, icky that I'm going to have to find a way through it. I have really noticed that I go, okay, well, for the next three days, I'm going to work on that habit. And what happens then is once you notice those shifts, you start to build momentum. And you suddenly, through that momentum, become one of those people that is doing the thing. There's lots of noise going on out here. You start to become one of those people that actually do the thing. And when you do that, it's your internal sticker chart being stuck on like, I did it, another day. Yes, I'm in the groove, I'm doing it. And your brain, at that point, high fives you like, we're doing it, we're in the groove, etc. So try it, Um, experiment, do it imperfectly. I invite you just to play, to take what you need, but also share with me what you gain. Let me know and ask for help. If it's me, if it's a partner, if it's your mum, if you need more childcare, whatever it might be, get people or get situations, get systems in your corner that are going to help you do the things that you want to do. Because seriously, truly, life is too short. There will always be a reason or something or someone um, why you shouldn't do the thing. But I'm here to tell you, you absolutely should. So let's do it together. I'll keep you posted on what I'm working on and take you behind the scenes and continue to do so. But if you want to find out more, go to my freebies page, nikkiraby.com forward slash freebies. And also you can check out my work with me page, nikkiraby.com forward slash work with me. All right. I am sending so much love. Thank you for being with me. This series is available for you um, on video, on podcast. So go back, revisit, re-listen as and when you need it. Also share it with somebody else. If you know somebody who could really benefit, I would really appreciate that too. All right, that's it for now. Thanks so much. And I'm sending you some big chair energy.